The Center on Policy Initiatives, or CPI, report says San Diego County officials failed to enroll enough eligible county residents in the following three safety net programs, CalFresh, CalWORKS, and Medi-Cal, which equates to a billion-dollar loss to San Diego's economy. Joining me is Peter Brunel, Research Director at CPI. And Peter, $700 million sounds like a lot of missed opportunities here, uh, but I understand the sign-up rates have improved over the last five years, right? Yes, they have improved um, from, I mean, I think in 2010, it was closer to 30%. Um, now we're up to, according to the latest figure from the California Food Policy Advocates, the county's at 47.6% of potentially eligible folks. Um, and that's enrollment in food stamps, so almost 50%. Stamps, sure. So it's gone up a little, yeah, I mean, but not a whole lot. Yeah, I mean, they've definitely made some progress, um, but I mean, we're still at a point where over half of the folks that are likely eligible are not enrolled, and so there's still you know, huge room for improvement. Do you know why county enrollment in these safety net programs um, haven't seen that big jump of improvement that we need? Um, I mean, our focus in the report is really looking at you know, the numbers and revisiting that. I think that's really the next step is for, you know, especially for the county uh, working together with the community groups that, that um, you know, convene to raise this issue to really understand what's not working and what needs to change to make that happen. And, and so that's part of what we're calling on the county to really provide the, the resources and the leadership to figure that out. Um, sure, now other counties in the state seem to have figured this out. What are the numbers like there? How do we compare? Yeah, absolutely. So, um, you know, there's other counties that enroll over 70% of folks. Um, San Bernardino County is one of the other large counties that, um, that enrolls a, a significantly higher share. Um, you know, even here nearby, Imperial County does much better than we do as a, as a share of eligible people, even though they're a much smaller county. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I think that's one place that we can turn to is look at other counties that are more successful and try to understand what the best practices are there. Let's talk about this impact of these people not being enrolled, not getting the federal funds for these programs and the effect it has on San Diego's economy. Um, how, how does it impact us here? Right, so obviously beyond the, you know, the needy families missing out on these benefits, um, the dollars that pay for these, these benefits are um, overwhelmingly federal and state dollars. And so what that means is we're missing out on an infusion of money from outside the region into our region which would help grow the economy. So it's, you know, as you mentioned, uh, over $700 million in direct benefits that would go to families. Um, and that, with that spending, generates, um, you know, over $900 million, so nearly a billion dollars in, um, in economic activity in the region that creates over 6,000 jobs, um, that generates $4.7 million in new sales tax revenues every year. So, I mean, basically, in terms of our economic development, you know, we, we, typically we would jump at any chance to bring hundreds of millions of dollars into the region from, from outside the region. And we feel like, you know, given that context and the, the need of the, the, you know, struggling families that the county really needs to step up and do everything that it can. Now you touched on this, but does all of the money for programs like CalFresh and Medi-Cal, does that all come from uh, federal and state? Um, it's, it's a, the overwhelming majority of it does. Um, for CalWORKS, um, you know, a small share comes from the county. So uh, essentially for adding additional applicants, about two and a half percent of the benefits would be paid by this, the county. Um, additionally, the county does share in some of the program administration costs. But for CalFresh, for example, uh, all, every dollar that goes into beneficiaries pockets comes from the state or federal government. Well, um, groups behind this report, there were a coalition of groups. Uh, they're calling on the county supervisors, of course, to take action on this. Has the county responded? Um, we haven't heard any response from the county yet at this point. And uh, what would you like to see the county supervisors do? I, I know this report is about what's actually happening here and, and sort of comparisons, but is there something you'd like to see how they could use this report? Um, I mean, what I really hope is that this really starts a conversation that it, um, you know, that the county, I mean, what we call on the county supervisors to do is to, to set a goal of full enrollment by 2020 um, and to provide the resources to, to, you know, study the problem and understand um, what, what steps they need to start taking. So, you know, putting the resources, um, working with the community groups, um, but setting that goal um, you know, of full enrollment and not leaving those dollars on the table. All right, Peter Brownell, thank you so much. Thank you.